How's it going? This is Russell with here at Aspen Athletic Club Cicero, the official home of the Syracuse Crunch. Uh, I'm Riku Hellanius, goalie for Syracuse Crunch. Uh, what we're going to go through today is going to be, uh, we're starting off with our dynamic warm-up. Uh, something that's going to be good for just uh, working different multi-planar angles and getting your body primed and ready for the uh, workouts that are going to ensue. We're going to go through three basic movements uh, as we're stepping in. The first one's going to be a good way of kind of dislocating our hips from our low back. It's going to ensure efficient movement as we're going through. So what we're going to do is our walking knee tuck. So we're going to step, pull it right underneath the kneecap, pull it right underneath the chest. Follow that and hug him right through. And also staying straight up and down, squeezing the core as he's coming down here. Right? And we usually do this about uh, 10, 15 yards away, just long enough to ensure uh, hips are loose and we're getting ready to move. Uh, on the way back, I'm going to throw a little bit of a curveball at him. Uh, what we're going to do is kind of stretch out our hamstrings. We call these guys Frankensteins. You got a good one for just loosening up the hamstrings, getting it through an active range of motion. So we're going to put one foot out, extend it right through, and then regain the balance. Other foot, regain the balance, and I'll have him come back and do this. Good. Let's get a nice extension through, keeping a nice straight back or as straight as he can. He's not hunching forward as he comes through. Uh, not running, no, no, no extra stress on that lower low line. And then he come down. Uh, next movement that we're gonna go through, just kind of warming up the, uh, the lateral hips, uh, especially in hockey, it's a very lateral hip uh, dominant sport. So we wanna make sure that those guys are firing properly. We're gonna take a nice strong step, keeping this trailing leg straight, and then sit down and back right. We wanna load those glutes, drive right to the heel back to start. Step. Dropping down, driving right through. So we'll have him repeat this pattern. Right, he's getting good depth. And you'll notice as he's coming in, he's driving right through the heel of this front leg as he's coming through, really low in those glutes and uh, lateral hips there. And I'll have him get one more coming down. And then we're going to come back in the same fashion, repeating. And this will give a stretch to the inside hip of the, uh, the trailing leg. As, and again, as I said, load the uh, glutes and lateral hips of that front leg. Driving right through. He's keeping a nice tall chest. He's not allowing that guy to kind of cave over, which you may see. And we're going to have to get one more of these guys here. And beautiful stuff. Um, last but not least, we're going to add actually just one more in there. Uh, it's going to make sure that we're warming up the uh, quads, kind of uh, loosen up the hip flexors and get the hamstrings ready to work again. It's going to be butt kicks as it's coming down. We'll have to do those guys down and back. And stand straight up and down. Actually making contact with the glutes there, stretching out those quads, getting those hamstrings fair. Let's see if they right there. Again, I'm Russell with Aspen Athletic Club, and this has been a dynamic warm-up.